Coast Life if you spend some time in Ocean City. You're probably familiar with one of the oldest buildings there. Ooh. Ripley's, believe it or not. So yes, so much fun. So many mm -hmm. wonders there to discover from the mirror maze yes. to just all. They, they even have a real set of crown jewels there. I love that place and I never knew it was one of the oldest buildings in OC. Yes. Never knew. Well, it used to be a hotel. The hotel oh. burned down. There's so much history there. Ooh. And uh, on top of that, I mean, Ripley's just got so much history there. So, so, so much. I love it. You've been, you've been in it more recently than I have. I haven't. Actually, it was my first time there. Yes. So let's uh, dive into the wonders of Ripley's, believe it or not. Coast Life, we are at Ripley's, believe it or not, in Ocean City. I am hanging out with Brandon Ely. Uh, you had a big hand in this mirror maze that a lot of people are familiar with, is that correct? Yes, yes. Uh, All right, so I know we kind of navigated our way, uh, poorly I might say, <laughs> but I guess you could really be the judge of that. <laughs> oh, you guys did very well, very well. Not, not too many, not to too many that. people. <laughs> I hear we missed some rooms is what I was. I yeah, the, the few of the little cubbies and few of the different <laughs> things people slid on by, so, but overall well, you did well. Tell me a little bit about the mirror maze in general, how this kind of came to be, what makes it so fun, and uh, maybe are there any uh, tips to making it through the mirror maze? For gloves. Those of us who are gloves is the best tip. <laughs> Good point. All right, that way you can feel your way through instead of using your head or your nose as you go through. Yeah. Uh, secondly, no, the, the, the mirror maze, it, it is a setup of 120 different mirrors. Nice. Uh, set up to a neon light uh, laser uh, theme that is actually cued by music. So ah. it's all set up to a music theme. Uh, we have a kaleidoscope uh, infinity room, uh, mm -hmm. which is absolutely amazing. Uh, and But the fun part is, if you can make it through, we flip you around and try sending you back, see if you can find where you just oh, came no. from. So. <laughs> out at Ripley's, believe it or not, in Ocean City. I've got Alex McMinn with me. And uh, if you've been to Ripley's before, you might be familiar with some of the exhibits, but I guarantee you, you're not familiar with this room because it's brand new. It is brand new. Believe it or not, this looks just like our warehouse in Orlando, Florida. So we wanted awesome. to bring that experience to our visitors here in Ocean City. Yes, and there's lots of great oddities that people can find here. We're not the only crown jewels hanging out in this room. We got some behind <laughs> us. And you were telling us some interesting facts about these too, right? These were yes, so actually Ripley's. Actually, two of these uh, in this exhibit were in his house. So you can get that really close to Ripley's facts. And you can have all of the tags on here and you can even learn more about them. Ah, very cool. Now, you feel like you're always learning as you walk through Ripley's. There's always some yes. new crazy facts to learn. <laughs> Alex and I are now in kind of a secret room, is that right? Yes, we, we are. We have been plunged underwater into ah. a submarine. Ooh, yes. It does give kind of submarine vibes. Yes. I'm picking I don't up know if the water down. is coming in, so we, we might not <laughs> be able to be stay quick. in too long. <laughs> um, so what makes the secret room really, really neat? You guys, there, there's even kind of a familiar voice in the background here. Yes, so right behind them is the Ripley's underwater radio comm. So it's a Ripley's actual voice on it. That is so cool. Yes, and there's a lot of stuff that you can play with over here Fun. as well, and even secret exhibits in here. Ooh. So there's a lot to see, you might say. Uh -huh, lots to see, <laughs> lots to discover at Ripley's, believe it or not, which we of course know because we've got more to see. It was so much fun, so much to explore yes. from the tour through the mirror maze, mm -hmm. which I will admit I was really, really bad at. I'm glad I got to, like, there was somebody that I was following that I yeah. could see they were better at it than I was. So I was like, I'm just going to follow you. I, I think you've been there where they, you bump it and, man, you can leave those places bruised, but it is fun. Sure can, but it's really fun. Oh, very blast. disorienting, but just very, very fun to navigate. So cool. uh, the new warehouse section, that's oh. what they're really excited to show off. That's where the crown jewels are. And it's just really, really cool stuff I need at Ripley's, to go. believe it or not. Some of the other really, really cool stuff at Ripley's, believe it or not. I, we're Some going there. Tasty snacks, if you will. <laughs> We're looking at them right now. Mm. Bugs. A Yum. Scorpion, whose leg I broke off. And they have a whole vending machine of snacks. Tasty snacks to choose from. <laughs> and somebody that was with us on that tour said, wouldn't it be fun if you and Paige ate some bugs on the show? And we're like, we're down for anything and we're like, once. Yeah, we'll try anything food-wise once. So here we are, putting no. our feet in our mouths or our bugs. bugs. Listen, <laughs> I was all for it until I opened up the scorpion and broke his little tail off. You're braver than I for going for the scorpion. Oh, we also have an ant, an wafer. ant wafer. So a, s that a family like of ants covered in chocolate. Which one do you? These are the larvets. Listen, 
Mexican spice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shall we just rip the band aid? You want to just like, I'll do this one and you do that one? Okay. Okay. And then we'll trade. Okay. You have larva, I have ant farm. All right. Char go. I, can't, I can see its little body is. <gasps> okay, just go, just go. Ah. Okay. That's not bad. Mm, this chocolate's actually delicious. Okay. <laughs> okay, here. Do you want mine or do you want a new one? I'll just grab okay. a new one. That's fine. You think I'm Jeremy? No. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, Mexican spice. Okay, I have I have more guts now to do this. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This one just tastes like chocolate. Yeah. Mmm, that's not bad. Okay. You'll notice we're delicately avoiding the scorpion. <laughs> I think I'm going to do a bite into it. I think I'm just okay. going to do it because here's the thing. The wrapper said it tastes like shrimp. Okay. So I think I'll just do a little bite on its tail, but then I'm taking its butt off. Okay, it's fine. I think I'll do it. Mmm. Oh, it's actually not bad. Okay. Try it out. All right. Try a little. You don't have to. I know this yeah. is freaking you out. It's really not bad. Okay. It's salty. It is salty. So, if you go to Ripley's, believe it or not, <laughs> you're going to have the best time. Trust me, you don't have to eat the bugs there, no. but um, if you want to. I might have another little worm. Get your friends in on it uh, and just have a great, awesome time. The team there is so incredible. They yes. have so much fun, so knowledgeable. So, uh, we do have some more show to get to, though. So, uh, we got to take a quick break, but we'll be right back.